George Soros. George Soros, an American investor with Hungarian roots, is one of the biggest puppeteers behind the scenes of international politics. His powerful network of foundations, according to own statements, promotes democracy and freedom. Klar TV already shed some light on the reality of this claim in previous broadcasts. After Soros' involvement in the Ukraine coup, now the countries of the Balkans seem to be the next targets. This is not welcome news to those countries, whether it be Hungary, Serbia, Romania, Macedonia or Bulgaria. On February 17, 2017, the Bernhard Zeitung, the third most subscribed to daily newspaper of Switzerland, reported the following about these countries. In Macedonia, the longtime Prime Minister Nikola Gruevski just recently claimed that the Soros people, those people who are determined to implement George Soros' agenda, incite vandalism and anarchy and barbarically call for violent demonstrations against his government. In the Balkan countries, it is publicly claimed that the billionaire uses his assets to destabilize these countries. The Soros people allegedly pay daily wages to the anti-government protesters for their participation in Romania, Serbia and Macedonia. In Bulgaria, as well as in Serbia, even reputable media published long lists of organizations that received money from George Soros Open Society Foundation, founded in 1984. These extremely disturbing reports were simply put aside by the Bernhard Zeitung as alleged conspiracy theories circulating in the Balkan countries. But not only did the paper not provide any proof of the opposite, but they also concealed important hints, such as the following. In a petition that was already signed by nearly 20,000 Americans, US President Donald Trump is urged to issue an arrest warrant against George Soros for, I quote, hiring people to participate in riots and protests which he approves of. In a CNN interview from May 2014, Soros himself said he established a foundation in the Ukraine. It was this very foundation that would ultimately lead to toppling the elected head of state and the installation of a coup government handpicked by the US State Department. In his text, A Brief History of Corruption, When Billionaires Play Politics, the German-American publisher Engdahl wrote, Whoever is familiar with George Soros' Open Society Foundation's history since the 1980s in Eastern Europe and worldwide knows that the alleged philanthropic and democracy-promoting projects of the 1990s in Poland, Russia or the Ukraine enabled the businessman Soros to literally plunder these former communist countries. The Bernhard Zeitung also did not say a single word about what Soros really means by his democratic society that he tries to promote with his Open Society Foundation and countless other organizations linked to him all over the world. The information portal Fit for Russia writes on its website the fact that Soros funds several NGOs for destabilizing the situation in various countries where governments are not willing to be embedded into a system of values is no secret. On its website, the Soros Foundation doesn't hide the fact that it spent $1.6 billion over the past 33 years for the purpose of democratic development in Eastern European countries and territories of the former Soviet Union. $2.1 billion were spent on education projects, that is, reforming the educational system from preschool up to university level, namely for the introduction 
question of sexual education in the context of gender mainstreaming. Furthermore, another $2.9 billion were spent on the so-called protection of human rights, but mainly the rights of minorities, such as drug addicts, sex workers, and the LGBT, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender community. So by democratization, George Soros means nothing else than an embedding into his system of values. Countries are subject to destabilization unless they agree to have their cultural and social values dictated to them from the outside. Hungarian President Viktor Orban assesses the concept of a world without borders that Soros tries to implement all over the world with the following words. At best, this is just naive, but in the worst case, it is part of a plan to destroy traditional civilizations, lifestyles, cultures and nations. Soros owns a gigantic, globe-spanning media network and he also finances Project Syndicate. According to his own statements, this is a charitable organization based in Prague that currently pools over 500 newspapers and magazines from 150 countries with a total circulation of nearly 70 million issues. Besides the German Süddeutsche Zeitung, Die Welt, and the Austrian Der Standard, also the Swiss daily newspaper Der Bund, as part of Project Syndicate. Der Bund, and this is hardly surprising, belongs to the same publisher as the Berner Zeitung. All this explains clearly why the pro-Soros reporting of the Berner Zeitung is certainly not based on neutral observation. This shows the paper up as itself being just another part of the global corruption in the media.